Recently, I got an itch to do something about my keyboard rig at church. It was really bulky. I didn't like the look of it, and there were cables everywhere. Uh, I, I wanted something that looked nicer. It was sleeker and would be less in, in between me and the people I'm trying to connect with as I lead worship. The problem was I didn't find anything on the market that would fill those needs, so it required me building one myself. In this video, I'm going to detail the process a little bit and uh, talk about how it came out. Hi everyone, my name is Peter and thanks for joining me at Our Worship Sound where we're working to make worship keyboard technique and technology easier. For the past dozen years or so, I've been using an Apex triangle column stand and it's a good stand, uh, but the triangle version of it looks really dated and uh, for having a two keyboard setup, it was just a lot to stand behind and try to connect with people at the same time. I wanted something that looked nicer, something that looked more like a piece of furniture and not so much like something that had just landed from outer space. Um, so I'd want something for a while, but I didn't know where to begin. And so recently I started looking at some desk ideas on Pinterest and came across that a lot of people are doing things with iron pipe. Okay, it gives it kind of that industrial chic look, if you will. Um, so what I did was I adapted a desk plan that I had seen on Pinterest um, to build it for a keyboard stand. Uh, and I was going to build it for specifically for the Yamaha S80 keyboard that we have at church. And that's where it was going to be. Uh, so the details of all this and how I put it together are on the blog post. So if you want to uh, follow the link that's appearing now, it's also in the description. Or if you want to type in ourworshipsound.com slash DIY stand, that'll get you there. Um, but the general idea was that I ordered all the small pipes and fittings from uh, a place called Zorro.com. Zorro, Z-O-R. O.com. And uh, the longer sections of pipe I had cut and threaded to certain lengths at our local home improvement store. Uh, I also got uh, the other wood pieces and other supplies there as well. Um, the stand came together pretty quickly. Uh, and I'm no master craftsman, um, but I have received a lot of comments uh, and compliments for it. Um, it's so much cleaner, it's nicer to look at. The cables are well managed. Uh, and one be uh, added benefit that I, I didn't necessarily expect is that it's a lot more stable. When I would play on that apex, uh, the, the column stand, um, there was a certain amount of wobble to it as I played. It, it kind of got used to, but this stand doesn't move, and so it's really nice just to have that really nice, solid platform. Uh, it has me thinking about what I could do here in this studio, um, but that'll be another video. So if you're interested in possibly doing something similar for yourself, you can check that out at ourworshipsound.com slash DIY stand. I hope that's helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.